Well, today I'm reviewing the new operating system, Fedora 10, which just came out this week. It's a free operating system. You can download it and burn it to DVD and actually install it. Um, it'll actually run off the DVD, however, and you can transfer the DVD to a USB stick and boot off of that. The advantage for running off of a USB stick is you can save your changes and have your custom desktop with you wherever you go. That's actually one of my preferred options. One of the first things you're going to want to do with this operating system is double click on the computer icon or your home folder icon, go to edit, preferences, behavior, and check the box that says always open in browser windows. I don't know why this isn't checked to begin with, but I just I don't like the little windows that pop up. It's much better to have a browser when you open it up. Okay. Now what we do is we plug in our video camera and you can see you can just browse right to it with the browser we want to edit some of these videos that we've got on there and we've got some MOVs and some M AVI format videos so let's just download some video editing software go to system administration add remove software and type in AVI in the search box Check this box right here that says GTK GUI for AVI DMOX. This here, when you check that, a little um, <coughs> button will appear over here that says Apply, and then you click that. What this does is downloads the AVI DMOX program and necessary um, dependencies so you can edit videos. Once you've done that, you can double click on the video and it will pop up in the editor. As you can see, the uh, <coughs> quality of this video is really poor. Um, the color is off, and it's uh, it's sideways, and we want to fix that. We also want to trim off some of the beginning and end. We don't want all this extra junk in there. So what we do is we go first thing, video, and we change the format to MJPEG. This is another format that uh, is basically a collection of JPEG images, I guess, that uh, are wrapped into one package. We click the Filters button and go to Crop. Actually, the first thing you want to do is uh, rotate. Just double-click it, choose 270 degrees. You can preview that if you want. Then go to Crop, and over here on the top, put in 100, and in the bottom, put in 160. Now that makes it look like, uh, well, that didn't uh, that didn't take. There we go. You gotta press tab afterwards. <coughs> that looks about right. And uh, let's also put in some color color fixing. Let's let's uh, let's use the uh, the hue filter and go to the middle of the video somewhere where it looks nice and yellow. And we're just gonna change the hue here a little bit, make it more more red, and reduce the saturation so it's not quite so uh, bright, so bold looking. There we go. Well, that's about right. <coughs> now let's fix the contrast up a little bit. <coughs> we're gonna bump it up a notch, make it a little brighter maybe. Yeah, that looks pretty good. much more professional, don't you think? <coughs> now that that's done, we trim off the beginning here. Let's uh, pick a spot. I'd say probably around 7. There we go. Hit the right bracket, delete that, and you've got uh, the beginning trimmed. Okay, and we want to trim off some of the end here too. Yeah, especially that part. So let's uh, let's get it right here after he closes his mouth there. And press left bracket, press delete, <coughs> and it's trimmed off. We're going to make that the end of that video segment. Let's try that again. Let's see how that works. Good. Now we can go to preview and we can show uh, output side by side here and actually press the home key and space 
you can see okay that video looks um, pretty much edited and we're going to have to save that though and the way we do that is we go file save video over here or control s and then just give it a name um, call that uh, out out three or whatever um, dot avi and save and this will save the edited video you can now open it in your favorite player